What's going on gamers? Today we are going to go over how to add workshop maps on a CSGO server. Bomb has been planted. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. In the world of CSGO, there are a ton of ways to customize your server. Whether you use various plugins or use workshop maps, each server can become completely unique. These community-created maps can completely revamp the gameplay experience, providing new and exciting experiences that the base game just doesn't offer. This is super easy to do with our customizations page in the panel, so let's go over how to add new workshop maps to your server. Visit the CSGO workshop page and find a map that you want to use and enter that page. On the page URL, make a note of and copy the numbers at the end of the URL. This is the map's ID number. Head to your Apex server panel and stop the server. In the left-hand menu, enter the Customizations tab and then scroll down to the Workshop File ID field. Paste the ID number from earlier into here, changes will save automatically, and you can return to the main panel page and restart the server. Now when a player connects, the server will automatically download the map to your own computer, allowing you to connect with no problems. Instead of loading one map at a time, you can also choose to load a collection of maps. This will allow players to vote on maps and switch between them without needing to restart the server each time. From the CSGO workshop page, find a map that you want to use. Press add to collection and then select or create a collection. Continue to add any desired maps to this collection and then like before, make a note of the ID number at the end of the collection URL. Visit the Apex panel and then stop the server and then enter the Customizations tab in the left-hand menu, and under the Workshop Collection ID field, enter the collection ID number. Once you're done, changes autosave, and you can return to the main panel page and restart the server. By default, the server will load maps in the order that it was added to the collection. This can be overridden to load one of the other collection maps by default on startup. From the Apex panel page, stop the server, and then head to Config Files on the left, followed by the Auto Exec CFG file. On an empty line, add workshop underscore start underscore map, and then the ID number of the start map that you want to use. Press save and then restart the server. After this, the workshop maps will be available for all to play on your server. The best part about this process is that the maps are automatically downloaded for any player who comes into your server. And while you can just stick to one map, using a collection gives your players more options and a chance to vote instead of having to restart to load a new map. That's all for this one gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time gamers.